Why my trunks? E and uh, well, this is like oh, this video is not gonna be well. Oh, I am playing a game, but it's gonna be like more like some like really like like situation type of stuff. Okay, so like I'm gonna like talk to you guys about. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you guys about why life is just, just straight, just straight garbage. Alright, so like, so there's like people, right, that, there's like people that don't fit in or not any of that. And there's like, also people with family issues. And then you got people that are just, they're just really cocky and they get everything in their life. They get everything they want in their life because everything just gets handed to them, right? But then some people say that later on, they're not happy with their lives. Which is true. Like, they do get some karma, but that's not exactly all of them. You know, some of them become like a millionaire and all that. And just, just have a great life. Like, been, a, been like a piece of trash their whole life. Like, been rude to other people and been popular their whole life. And, like, they have good fortune and all of that. And they just die, like, happy. Like, they did a lot. They, like, their, their work is done, basically. And they die. They're not really... I mean, they probably do be sad because they're gone. But, like, it's not like they're really sad because it's like... They already accomplished, like, literally everything they wanted. Everything's been handed to them. They had good fortune. They had nice people. They had people support them and all that. So, basically, they think they're God. Well, there's people like me. Okay? There's people like me. That just never had, like... May, may somewhat had a chance, but there are other people that literally has no chance. I somewhat had a chance, but not really. And there's like other people where it's like they're like really bad people, right? And they get they get more than one chance. They get two chances. Some of them maybe even like three chances, all right? And they don't appreciate nothing, okay? They don't appreciate anything. They just treat everybody like crap. They just think they can just. They think they're God, alright? Not even just, like, thinking they're God. Like, they just think they're God and they're, like, abusing their power and all of that. You guys, you know what I'm, guys. You, you guys know what I'm saying, right? But it's just, like... You see all these big YouTubers, like... Like, PewDiePie? Yeah, PewDiePie, Jake Paul, Logan Paul. I mean, they know how to, like... They're consistent about their stuff, but it's like, they don't even have any, like, skills. They Logan Paul blow up from, like, Vine. Like, he's, I think he did. I might be wrong, but, like, what skills do Logan and Jake Paul have, guys? I know I don't show them. I mean, I used to dance and all, but, like, I could throw, I'm not saying I can't fight. Like, I'm not saying I'm the best fighter in the world, but, like, I, I could throw hands or whatever. I'm not cocky about it, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying that because... I know some of y'all would be like, oh, Jake, the, the Paw Brothers deserve to, they are properly rated because they do boxing and all that other stuff. And it's like, no, they, I mean, they can do whatever they want, but it's like, they chose boxing, now they want to act like they came from nothing. They're talking about some, oh, we got, my bros got nothing to lose. Oh, my bros got nothing to lose and all that other stuff. Like, bro, you're rich. Your your rich robux and your literally white privilege. So it's like, what what do you mean? I don't have nothing to lose. You got a lot to lose, buddy. You're not. You're like, bro. I hate. I just hate when people try to act like they're like they came from like nothing. But this whole time they're just douchebags and bullies and just rude to their fans if they're famous and all that. Rude to people in general. That just supports them. They they are rude to their fans, bro. And those are and they fans are like the people that's making them get all this money. They are the reason why you're like your net worth is like like I guess like ten million. Not even just YouTube but like merch and all that stuff. They are the reason why you're rich. Your viewers help you make money. They watch your stuff. Viewers 
equals more money for YouTubers. That's how it works. But no, you don't want to treat your fans like crap and all that. Just, just try act like you you have nothing to lose. Act like you came from a, the trenches and all of that stuff. Like bro, like bro. It just makes me so mad. It's not even just them. It's a whole bunch of people that just act like that. Even the people from like the trenches and like the hoods, like they're not even like that. Like for real, for real. If you never like, if you never lived in a house with no electricity, like going on and off for a c past couple years, and it, and that one time it was off for like almost a half a month, getting abused by your mom. Your family, some of your family members even knowing about it, but not doing that, not doing a darn thing about it. Now you shouldn't even be saying, "Oh, I got nothing to lose." You shouldn't be saying that, okay? Like, I mean, everybody has something to lose. Like, you're like people got like family and all that. I get that, but it's like, don't be saying stuff like that. And you like, you know, like you're just, you get everything handed to you. You're at a great advantage. You got, you get more than one chance and all of that. Like it just sucks that it's like a lot of people like that and they don't even appreciate the things they got. Like, sure they might appreciate friends, but it's like they don't appreciate like enough. But that's not even just what I'm talking about. There's also things. Oh yeah, freaking girls. I no, I'm not gay, bro. I am not gay, but like, what, what was I gonna say? I'm not gay, but like, I don't like girls. There's this one girl I like in Arizona, but it's like, she got a boyfriend and all that. So I'm like, yeah, I don't even have a chance, but I still like her though, but it's not like she called me ugly or anything. We never even text, but it's like, I mean, she answered my response on the live. I made an editor of her like a whole year ago and she liked it and said thanks. That was it. But it's not like she said I was ugly or anything. So I'm still, I'm like, I don't even have a chance. Like, I don't got a problem with the guy she's with, but it's like, they, they, they ain't gonna be together for like a, probably forever. They got a promise ring and all that, so I'm like, yeah, I don't even have a freaking chance. Yeah, her freaking, bro, her brother's playing like, one of her bro her dad used to be in the NFL. I forgot his name. Oh wait, I think it's Michael Pittman. Yeah. He used to play for like the Bucks. And they he cracked me. He played for the Bucks and Cardinals. And like her brother is playing like in college. One of them's in the NFL, but like there's one time on my Insta story I showed a Madden highlight of him. Like his name is Michael Pittman Jr., alright? So I tag like listen, I tagged him in it. And he saw it, but he didn't, like, repost me. The only reason, I'm not gonna lie, I was trying to get some buzz. I was doing a little clout chasing, yeah, because I needed, like, some buzz. Like, I wasn't getting, I literally get no buzz. I'm not gonna lie, I, got, I was doing a little, it was a kind of, I was just doing a little bit of a clout chasing. Dang, I'm the only one in this server, but who cares? But, he saw it, but then didn't even, like, repost it. He didn't even say thanks or nothing, just saw it. And like, yeah, but on his story that day, he was reposting people that was buying his jerseys. And this one guy showed a clip of him in Madden. Like, you know, like a, I showed a clip of him just scoring at like Moss in a corner and scoring a touchdown. Somebody did the exact same thing. He reposted them. And that person, I'm not saying, I'm not trying to be cocky or mean, but like that person had like 15, like 59 followers maybe, and I had like a thousand. Like a little over a th like, uh, uh, like one point, one point six k followers, and then he still reposts. He was reposting other. Pe yeah, he was reposting a lot of people that was just tagging him, just buying his jerseys, and those people had like under a hundred followers. So like, so I'm not, like, bro, this is not the first time something like this happens. Usually. I would make a dance video, right, and tag a famous person it. They would see my story and all that. They wouldn't even say anything about it. Like, and it's not even just that. But I kind of got a topic with the girls. Bro, I just hate, like, I really just hate how girls are 
People be like, oh no, this girl's new this generation sucks. No, it's always been like this, but in somewhat different ways. It's always been like, you can just tell. So I'm like, what was I gonna say? Yeah, man, I just... I used to just, no, I don't get girls, I used to just talk to a lot of girls on Instagram. Only did that so, like, I was kind of, I was just kind of trying to, like, figure out how to, like, talk to girls. I mean, it was kind of working with the conversations, but it didn't work. I would get blocked by girls for no reason. Like, I say yo to some other, some girls, and they'd be all like, oh, why are you texting me? And then... So, or someone would be like, I right, ask where they from, they'd be like, it don't matter, mind your business, and all that other stuff. And then I, I was just one guy, I was like, I was like, no, I thought he was kind of cute, but now I'm like, nah, you're just rude. And then she's all like, oh, I don't like you anyway, you're just ugly, bye, and just gets blocked. And I'm like, bruh, and I don't even care if she knew what I look like, but like, most of I, I ask girls, what do I, you know what I look like, they'd be like, nah, because my page... I don't, I don't have, like, I didn't have, like, a lot, back then, I didn't have, like, a lot of pictures on my page, so, I will send them a picture, I mean, they'd be like, yeah, you're, you're okay, some of them be like, you look good, but, like, those ones are the fake ones, because, like, they just leave me on, I don't even be asking anything awkward, I just be wanting to have, like, a little chat, leave me on scene, just never, or if I try to talk some more, they would just block me, and just, like, just like that. Or there's some girls, I'd say yo, and then they'd be like, they'd be like, oh, stop texting me, block. Like, I don't even be doing nothing to people. And this girl I was, like, friends with, like, like social media friends with, I don't even have friends in real life. I, all my friends are on social media, and it's like, the worst, sad part is I'm never going, most likely never going to see them in real life. So it's like, yeah, I already know they don't even, like, worry about me at any time i can go a whole like bro i can go a whole year without texting anybody and only like two people that i know will probably text me like twice if i were never texted them like throughout the whole year i'm not even joking that just proves that i'm just like people know me but it's like i'm just dead to them it's like because it's like Bro, if I wasn't dead to them, they would be text. They would be texting me like at least a couple days a week. It don't even have to be every day. It can just be. It can just be a couple days a week, like maybe two days. But no, I don't. Nobody never just hits my phone. So it's like, yeah, it's pretty much I'm just dead to everybody. But girls, all they freaking want, like all they want for real, for real is just money and clout. Now you can be real ugly. Some girls, you would get some girls. The only reason, like, no, I don't even want to say this, but it's like, I don't mean that as any offense. I'm just, I don't know if this is ain't, no, it can't be offensive. It's facts, though, but it's like, if you see somebody that's, like, not that good looking, like, like, I don't... I don't want to put it in other words, people just find it, like, very offensive. Let's just say a person's, like, not, like, not, like, good-looking, okay? And you see them with, like, a bunch of girls, you know what that means? That means the girls only like them because they got, like, they're, like, ridiculously rich and famous. And they only hang with them because they, they know they're going to, like, buy them some stuff. So, it's the only reason. But that's still, but it don't even matter. That's how girls are with everybody. Like, it's just really just messed up. That's why I don't like girls. They just, they don't even need to, like, I mean, they should, but they need to exist, but not, they just need to change the way they act. Like, I genuinely hate girls. They're all just, like, they're just fake. Giving people attitude for no reason. And I says one girl, I was like, nah, cuz, if I was like Lil Rapper, y'all know Lil Baby, right? If I was him, just, if I, say if I was Lil Baby texting you, you wouldn't have said all that rude stuff. And then they gonna try to change the subject. I'm like, yeah, alright, you know, you know what point I'm trying to prove, cuz you know it's true. Like, 
just, this life is so like, I hate it. It's just so stupid. Like, bro. Like, you know how before, you imagine before everything, like, before time, before, like, Earth and space, there's just, like, close your eyes, just, this looks like that nothingness, and then, boom, a big, they say a big bang happens, and there's, like, oh, it just makes no sense, something had to trigger it to happen, and I think it was just, I don't even know if God even exists, like, I, like, I, I think he exists, but he doesn't. Cause it's like, I know ghosts exist, like, I encounter, enter counter, like, with a, a actual ghost before, like, I've seen it. Like, I think it was, like, twice. And there's, like, a bunch of videos, people just talking to ghosts, like, that, that's spirit, no ghost stuff, that's actually real. Like, angels and demons actually do exist. But at the same time, it's like, this world is just so, like, very just... Horror, not even, it's probably different universe out there as bad as this one, or maybe better. But it's like, it just seems like there's no hope. It's like, you're born really, really poor. This, like, you're born in Afghanistan. What, what place is like, isn't like Afghanistan like really, like bad? They're born in a terrible environment. And terrible people. And a lot of people just die without achieving anything like really good but then if you're born like really rich you're always gonna have money on you even if you're broke because you got family to back up because you came from a rich family obviously not even just that like you came from yeah you're gonna you're always gonna have money to back you up so you can be in a good environment at any time pretty much it don't matter how good or how like very douchebag are you, that you are you're always gonna have like money to care it don't matter how good or bad you are because life just isn't fair life just be like it is what it is what else was i gonna say but yeah life is just horrible everything is just it's not fair man i just hate school man i didn't i didn't fit in it's like I told my family that, like, my aunt and my grandma, like, my aunt, she, oh my gosh, bro. She was all like, well, you didn't fit in school because you kept skipping class. You kept skipping school. And I'm like, first of all, I skipped school because I didn't like that school. I know how, like, bro, I've been here a couple days. If you've been in school for, like, the past two weeks, you should know, like, almost everybody that goes to school. You should know how, like... Mostly the pit, the classes that you're in. Basically, you should know how like everybody acts because you're in the class. You're in the you're in the same classrooms like every five days for the past two weeks. For school days, right? And then like you'll see how all of them act and all that. And I I didn't I didn't see their true colors at that school because I came at that school in the, like late like November. So everybody, I'm, obviously everybody's already showing their colors. So they're all just vape and just acting like they're like well they were in like little gangs and all that but like they weren't tough people and some people be like oh not nobody's tough like there are tough people out there like they just they was just a bunch of softies like they just they just act like they were tough they were like big like just big overweight fat obese bullies that just thought they were like about it just cursing and all just like they literally came to class just drinking hennessy and just vaping in front of the teacher's face like i kind of that's kind of dis that's disrespectful but it's like yeah i told my my grand my aunt that oh i, I don't fit in that school and i, I skipped in school because i didn't like that school and she's all like well you you was you was offended because you was skipping school and all that other stuff. So you didn't even get you didn't even give yourself a chance to make any friends. I'm like, I'm like, you want to tell me? I just told you what I said. I'm like, never mind. I'm like, I'm, I don't even know why I even told you all this because it's like, I don't even know why I told her all this because it, it's like you're obviously you're not even gonna understand anything I say. And I'm like, yeah, you don't understand anything I say because obviously when you're in high school. You were popular peoples, and you were a bully. 
And, like, I say that because, like, you can tell if somebody's, like, the popular people in, back in their days in high school. Because, like, you say you don't fit in, they'll be like, oh, you don't fit in because you kept skipping days in school. It's not like I was skipping all the days. People skip school, they skip it for a reason. Like, no, for the people that don't fit in, they have a good reason for skipping school. The people that don't fit in, like, have a really good reason to skip in school. Like, it's so obvious. And people don't fit in and skip school because they don't fit in. It's, it's that simple. And they're just tired of, like, people like me are just tired of, like, going to the same exact square. They're just being miserable, not fitting in. Just having no one to talk to. Just being on your phone all day. Except that school was horrible. We didn't have, we didn't get to have our phones out or nothing. School was just trash. It was poop. Okay, it was poop. But now I'm like, to my, I'm like, yeah, back in your days, you were popular and you had, like, you were a bully. Yeah, I say that, like I said, I say that because you gave that response. People that give that response were, like, were popular back in their days and were just bullies. And plus, she was pregnant at, like, 17, I think. And I didn't say that, but, like, oh, that's another reason why I say, oh, you're, like, popular and bully. But I didn't say the part where she's, like, pregnant at, at like, 17. But, yeah, if you're a girl in high school, you're pregnant at, like, 17, 15. You're one of the popular people, obviously. So, she's, like... Oh, why would you ever say that? I, I was never one of the bullies in Pocket Fever High School. I'm like, yeah, you were, because you gave that response. Only only those type of people give that response. And she's all like, oh, were, so were you there when I was in high school? I'm like, it doesn't matter if I was there or wasn't there. And she's all like, oh, have a good, oh, I'm not, this conversation's over, good night. And this was, this was like, after I was saying, like, I told my I wanted to kill myself. Obviously, she don't understand crap I was saying. She, just stupid family is just so delusional. She's all like, she's gonna tell me how she was when she tried. She wanted to kill herself. Tell myself, oh, I'm all alone. And all that other stuff. Bro, you got bread. Like, what are you even talking? You have friends. You have, you're, you have friends. For, like, I know she got a lot of friends at work and stuff. Because I always be here. Like, you, I used to go to my aunt house. Or well, sometimes I would. No, I used to go to my aunt house a lot. I don't know if they're friends or, or not now, but, like, she had, like, always talked to a lot of people on her phone. And it was like, you had a whole car and everything. You're talking about some, oh, I'm just alone. You acting like you can't go. You're trapped in a cell or something, like an asylum. Like, you sound, that just, this just sounds so dumb. What she said, because it's like, you can't even say that, because you got a whole car. You got money to, like, do fun stuff and all of that. So I'm like, yeah, it's not, she don't understand why I want to, I want to kill myself. So then, yeah, she's like, oh, have a good, have a good day, have a good night, this conversation is over. Because I said, she was one of the bullies in high school, back when she was in high school. And her saying that just made me believe it even more, because it's like, after I said she was a bully and one of the popular people back in high school, why would she take it as like, like a, like a super, like, like, why would she take it very, very offensive? Because you know I'm right. Like, you say stuff like that to people and they get really, really mad. That means they actually were like that. Like, you're exposing them. You expose their past. And I don't even know about my aunt's past. I know enough. I know she had, like, a lot of boyfriends and all that, which is really, really bad. I'm not even saying that because I don't get no girls, but like, that's just bad. But it's like, yeah. There's retarded family. Like, I don't even, I don't even have a dad. That makes it even worse. Like, my dad's step, my dad's stepdad had passed away last year. And he didn't even show up to the funeral. He gave him a whole place to live and everything. He didn't even show up. Like, that's just that, that's some bullcrap, man. That just made me really mad. Like, it's like, if I were to die, my dad would even show up to the funeral. Now, so that make like, I could just tell, because, like, when I first saw my dad for the first time in my life, 2015, he came to, like, one of my, one of my, some flag football games. And then, like, he came to my sister graduation, like, a month later. We went out, we went out to eat, and after that, he was like, oh, we about to, we want to, we want to play catch on the, he like, what do you want to do? I'm like, I want to play catch on the football field. And he's like, I'm trying to decide what field I want to go to. And he drops on my mom. He's like, 
Oh, text me, text your mom. T tell your mom to text me what field you want to play on. So he's like, I'll be back in like an hour. I waited every minute has passed by, and he hasn't even, bro, hasn't came ever since. My mom's talking about something. Oh, your dad says car broke down. And I'm like, no, it didn't. I'm, I'm just sick and tired. He's like, and he, like, that same, no, this was like a, a year later. He's like, I'm like, I'm in a football scrimmage. You, you're coming? He's like, yeah, I'm going to be there, man. It doesn't even show up. He's a little retarded. Man. I'm just, holy crap, I'm just sick and tired, everybody. So I'm like, I was just, like, the end of 2016, I was just crying because my dad is just so trash. I'm kind of happy my dad wasn't even in my life at, in, like, the very beginning. It would have been bad because I heard he was, like, abusive and all that crap. My mom was, too. My mom beat the crap out of me. Like, my mom's bipolar, but it was, just, I was still getting abused, living house, no power. Back in, like, elementary, middle school, I, I did have friends, okay? Because you know how, like, when everybody's, like, people were in, like, middle school and elementary, like, I mean, middle school, they're just fake people start to appear, only a little bit. But high school, that's where all the fake people start to appear. But, yeah, I had, like, I wasn't popular, but I did have, like, enough friends, okay? I mean, I was cool with some of the popular people, and those popular people were, like, they deserve to be pop. Actually, I don't even freaking know, because they're, like... They're, they're the bad popular people now. Back then, they were, like, the good popular people. Like, like they were just nice to, like, a lot of people. They weren't douchebags or anything. They were cool with everybody. And everybody liked to be around them. That's how they were. I was cool with some of those people. Like, maybe two of them. But, yeah. I have no... But now... I have no friends... I have no connection to the outside world in person. I'm just sick and... I'm just sick and tired of just talking to people on a... I don't even talk, I don't even call people like that. Like, I, I kind of suck at making friends online. I need to, like, start doing... I mean, I try, but... People on Roblox, I usually ask for, like, their mic up me in Discord. They just stop talking to me. Forever. Like, yeah. I just need friends. I have no connection with the outside world. In person. I'm just always stuck in my mom's house. I'm just... I'm just a nobody. Like, I don't even know why I'm making this video. As if this video is gonna, like, blow up. Like, one of the other YouTubers said, he's like, Why am I just wasting my time on a computer making videos just to get, like, 10 to 20k views while Leafy and some other guys get like millions of views just by doing overrated crap just stuff that everybody can anybody can do, can do without like practicing for it when he said 10 to 20k views he's saying that like it was a little bit like bro if I don't I don't I forgot his name but if you're if you were to watch this video look at the views on my channel well if you watch if this, this probably won't blow up, but like, look at the views on my channel. I don't even get, ugh, like, the average, like, the views I mostly would get is probably like, like, 10 views. Or almost, like, 5 to 10, like, 5 views per video. No, 10 views per, over 10 views per video. And that's nothing. That's, but I don't want to think it's nothing, because like, I don't want to put myself down about it and be like, really... Like, upset. Like, I I'm already am, like, really upset about my life. You talking about, oh, I'm wasting my time doing 10, making videos, making, like, I'm wasting my time just making videos that gets, like, 10 to 20k views. Like, that's a lot of views. Like, what are you even talking about? That's a lot of views. That's, you're acting like, that's, like, the views I got. I get no views. I have no, I mean, I, one of my videos get, like, a thousand I'm uh, happy about that, but it's like, most of my videos on daily basis get like 5 views, like I'll upload this in like, in probably like 24 hours, this is, I don't even think this will ever get 5, this will get no views, 
maybe like one, maybe like ten views, because I keep rewatching the video. Because I actually do have to boost my ratings, but it's like, I don't even know why I'm making this video. As if make, as if spilling out my emotions will make things better. And put it on YouTube, knowing darn well it's not even going to blow up in any type of way. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Like, I, this video's, I, I know this video's not going to blow up, but like, I don't even know why I'm like, doing this. But yeah, life just sucks. And I'm just sick and tired of all the popular people just getting the glory. And then people like me, who I guess don't get no type of like, second chance or in no type of chances because my family like i was supposed to play football like military school best experience of my life didn't want to go there at first but it was really cool because i we started doing things right like we were supposed to we were trapped me and my friends traveling all over the campus like sneaking around we weren't supposed to do that made the school even better because at first it was supposed to be boot camp and you're supposed to graduate from like it starts august then into october like the boot camp thing after the boot camp, then you just do whatever you want at that school. You can get ranked up. Well, you gotta train for it, but you can just go anywhere you want on campus. Whenever school's out, and just do what, like play basketball and all that other crap, and just live there, hang with your friends, whatever you want. But during boot camp, you had to stay in certain areas. Like yes, you had to stay in a formation and march a whole bunch. You had to go to chapel service. Me and my friends, we we got away with most of that stuff while we were sneaking around the campus. Best experience of my life. But I was supposed to play football there, but I couldn't because I was in 8th grade. They was like, we only got football for a high school team. There's only a high school football team. There's no like middle school team or whatever. I don't know why, so. So I'm like, dang, cool. So maybe next year. No, ain't no maybe. So next year I'm playing football because I'll be a freshman by 2018. Would I play there? No, because I lasted at that school from like August to November 10th. Like, no, after November 10th, I was supposed to come back in like two weeks, but it never happened. I kind of wanted to leave that school, but I didn't. I wanted to leave that. It was just, it was just like just one tech officer there. He's just really, nobody liked him. He's just really annoying. And just, he was just a, he was a douchebag, okay? But I would rather be at that school than hate that in my freaking mom's house. So then my mom's like, you want to play for the old football team? And I'm like, no. When I said no, because I did not like those guys. I didn't like playing for those guys. Those guys, and the coaches there are horrible. So I tried to join his team called, I was supposed to play for them. The Aztecs. If I weren't in my military school, I was supposed to play for the Aztecs, but... I don't think I would like it there anyway, but... I, was, I wanted to join the Aztecs. My mom's all like, Oh no, I don't even get play this year. I don't got enough money. And a couple of days ago, she was saying, Oh, you want to play for your old team? I'm like, no. But then a couple of days later, I asked to join another team. You're like, Oh, I don't have enough money for it. Try to ask again. She's like, Oh, you're too old. Or I was like 15, only could play like maybe like one more year. So next year came around, I could play for the Spring League team, but never played a real game. I mean, I was on the team, but I was like, but then I had to leave the team because they stay a lot about their age group. So at that time, I was like 16. It was like ages, ages 10 to 16 can play. So then they're like, no, ages 10 to 15. I'm like, dang, they just, they really just lied. So now I'm like, I'm like, cool. I'm like, cool. So, freaking 2000, um, what's it called? So later that year, my, my I was living in New York. I found a football team called a Bayside Raiders. Now, I was on their team, but I didn't get, I was supposed to be, like, the best running, youth football running back in New York at the time. I was, like, really good. Like, really good. Actually, I don't, I know that sounds cocky, but let's just say I was supposed to be, like, a real, I was supposed to be a good running back in New York. One of those top running backs in New York. 
But no, I couldn't play. Cause my stupid grandma didn't want to never put it. She knew how to get my physical, but she just kept making excuses about it. So I'm like, why do you keep making excuses about it and all that other stuff? She just act like she ain't do nothing. And then she's gonna say something. Oh, I should have never told you about the team. And then she's like, oh, you should just move on from it and all that. And she's like, you can play next year anyway for this high school. And I'm like, why do you even say all that? Like, you just, like, this is your problem. You always just, this stupid family just likes to crush people's dreams. And then next year, I went to that, that's, that school in New York with the, with them fake gangsters, them soft behind, obese, big bullies. That school didn't even have a football team. That school had nothing, I mean, they had a basketball court, but like, no, no sports team or nothing. So after that, the virus came around, I had, I don't even want to get, you know, the Zoom and all that stupid crap. I live in New York, I came, I went back to my mom's house, because I did not like my pops and all that, they were just, like my step pops and my grandma, they were just really annoying. They were just retarded, like they started a bunch of arguments for no reason, it was just horrible, it's not even, it wasn't even just that. That's when I came back to my stupid mom house. She doesn't even let me go anywhere. I mean, now she does have. She's like, yeah, you can go places now since you're old enough. But I was hanging with friends like. So this is I had like that that little part time job in the summer. Last, this is like last year. I hope my friend guys are moving. I mean not. Free. What's his name? Not him. Some. Well, we went to the mall. All right. Yeah, help him move. We went to the mall. So like, I bought him like a shirt, a belt, snacks, all that other stuff. And this dude never even paid back. Was didn't say thanks. Like the next day after, he's like, "Oh no, I feel bad. You had to come out your pockets for me. Everything. That's not good." And I'm like, "It's good, but." I'm thinking it's not good. I had a, I had to treat you like a, like you was my son. Like he came in the mall, like he did buy his other. He came in the mall like sixty-five dollars. I mean that's like enough to buy like, like maybe two things, maybe like maybe three things. Okay, three things. <laughs> this dude didn't say thanks or anything. He's like, oh, I'm mad. He had to come out of my pockets for me. I don't even know why I did that. This dude's fake. He just talks about my back a lot. He just say stuff. He just makes fun of me rage quitting in games. It's like, bro, when I rage quit in games, I be wanting to kill myself. The only reason why is because I already know I have no life. Like, I don't play sports. I don't even walk outside. I don't, bro, I don't even play sports. I don't walk outside or do any of that. But the gaming world is real to me, and if I suck in the gaming world, it just makes me feel really like really down, really down, cause it's like I have no life, but this gaming life is the only life I have, and this is the gaming life is the only life I'll ever be good in, cause in this real life stuff, I have no girlfriend, I have no friends to see, and I have friends but not in person, like I have internet friends. Some of my friends are from military school. I saw them like once a year, fun times, but that's like, that's like once, twice every year, and that's like, that's like 365 days a year, that's like, that's literally like 2% of the year, that's nothing, that's like 2% of the time I have fun every year, out of all the time you're just stuck in the house all day and just watching my favorite like shows like X-Men and all that, and playing games, like I'm in the gaming world, it really just makes break my heart that I suck. I was sucking some games and then just having fake friends like not just the one that I bought clothes at the mall, some other one. He's just really toxic. Just makes fun of me and all that. He's like, oh, I know you're not talking. You post on your story that you was gonna kill yourself after we cooked you in the game and made you quit. I didn't even say nothing rude. I right? just. Like the one, not the one from the mall, but the one that said that about the about me killing myself over a game. 
I don't like that dude. He just... He's so fake. Every time I pick up the phone, he just calls me the B word and all that other stuff. I say stuff back, but then he... Like, he just wants... Okay. If I if he sees it, I really don't care. I, I don't care. Boo-hoo, you get mad. Okay, whatever. But he's like... He just... He just wants people to think that he's like, not a guy, but like, like, uh, he wants people to think like he's some type of unstoppable force. Like, you can think that you can beat me, but at the end of the day, you know you don't have no chance. That's how he thinks of everybody. That's how he wants everybody to look at him. He's just a, just a joke. And he bullies his brother around the house. They make, his brother's like 10 now. He makes fun of his brother. Like, his brother was like, yeah, I don't have anybody else to talk to. I kind of miss my mom and all that other stuff. And he's all like, oh, but your mom's dead, so that's, that's too bad. Like, he just says stuff like that. I'm just like, I just, I don't like how he's talking to his little brother like that. Yeah, he was kind of, he does be a little annoying, but still. You talk about somebody's dead mom. Talking about some, oh, she's not around, that's too bad. That's, that's really disrespectful, and he's like, he's gonna turn just like him, because his, his mom, like, my fake friend's mom, she's, like, really old, she's very ignorant, she's, like, one of those, you know those people that be at church, those black churches, they want you to think they're the good guy, that's how everybody, they want you to think they're the good guy, but they, in reality, they're just horrible, like, they would use wise words and, and change their tone, fake expression, everything, but, when you get to know them like that, you can see it. You, they don't even have to show that you guys. You can see it. And they're just like, they're not who they want to be. They're not who you think they are. They're just really, really bad people. Really bad people, okay? But, I, I, what am I even going to... I've been... I've been flapping my gums for like the past 42 minutes. About... Why life is just so garbage. Watch this video just not even it won't even blow up. That's the that's the sad part. I've been flapping my guns about why life is just very just trash. For the past forty two minutes. And then this video is not even it's probably gonna get like five views. That's yeah, that makes it even worse. You know what makes it even worse? Like, I have people to talk about my problems. I understand, they understand some of it, but at the same time, I'm still misunderstood, so that makes it even worse. You know, they don't, people, when you tell people their problems, they don't have to relate to everything. They just gotta relate to enough. Or relate to enough things. I mean, if they can relate to every, everything, that is really good. But if they don't relate to enough things you say, then that's just bad. And then they will try to, I mean, they can try to understand, but it's going to be hard, depending on the situation. But, you know, all I got to say is girls are straight garbage. I think every girl just deserves a rotten hell. I'm not, I'm not gay. There's no actual good girls out there, okay? Now, my friend is like, oh... I don't even care if he sees this, if he comes to this part, he's like, oh, uh, I just, I'm just waiting for God to give me a girl, and all that other stuff, <laughs> but it's like, I don't wanna, like, I don't even wanna freaking say, like, no, that's never gonna happen, cause, like, most girls aren't Christian, but, like, it's true, most girls are not, like, Christian like that. Like, there's literally every single girl, like, they can show their true, they can show some colors, like, they can see, like, they're good, but, like, give them, like, a month, not even two weeks, a month. No, not even a, give them, like, bro, for real, for real, give them, like, five days. You'll see, they're just really just trash people, okay? This one goth girl I was friends with, I'm, like... I asked for a number, left me on scene, and I asked again, like, like, maybe like a, no, it was like, like, two weeks later. And I'm like, why the heck you didn't respond? 
And then you know what happens next. User not found. So I want my other account. I said what I had to say. I'm like, nah, you shouldn't even be goth. Like, you're not depressed. You're from the UK. You live in the suburbs. I'm not saying UK soft, because UK have hoods. But she lived in a whole suburban house and all that. You have friends. Yeah, there should be no reason why you're goth. I went through way more than most of you guys did. Or most I went through way more than a lot of people did. I'm not even goth. Like that's that's a shame. I went through way more than a lot of you people a lot of people did. I'm not even goth. I never even thought about being goth or emo. That's a shame. But who cares anyway? This is not even gonna blow up. But yeah, like and then the worst part is there's a lot of people that just achieved they didn't get a chance to achieve anything in life because life is just I hate God, okay? If he exists. I hate God. You know, I don't like Satan, obviously he's a real bad guy, but I hate God. I mean God is the reason all of this happened, okay? God's the reason for me getting blocked left and right. Never again, girls ever, like, never again, I don't even, I'm not even that focused on a girlfriend, but, like, gee, it'll be nice to have a girlfriend, at least, like, one, like, a decent girlfriend once in your life, like, jeez. I didn't even tell you guys enough about me getting blocked by girls. I, bro, I would legit get left on scene a lot, but then if I get left on scene, if, if I say something after that, it gets worse. I get blocked and all that. Like, oh my gosh, it's just... I'm just tired of getting ditched by people. And the only time someone would talk to me, they'd be like... They had knocked them up. The only time they talk to me, they'd be like, oh, like, comment, and all that. See? I Usually, I leave them on scene. That's a good reason to leave somebody on scene, because it's like, they're trying to use you to, to boost their ratings. For them little, like, I know I don't get a lot of likes, for them little, like, 200 likes, thinking they're famous and bougie and all that stupid crap. And I'm just tired of people just getting, like, oh my gosh, you guys don't understand. I'm just tired of just pe undeserving pieces of crap just getting everything they want in life. Like, the resorts, they just don't suffer at all. And they get no karma at all. This girl from Florida, <clears throat> I was talking to. Like, we even had to pull in everything, my other new friend. He kind of fake, because I'm like, you still talk to him, girl, this just leaves me on scene. I'm like, that's kind of fake, but whatever. But he's like, but the other day, like, I'm, like, really shy. I don't do good in, like, group chats. Like, like, real life friend group chats. Like, you're in a group with one of your friends, you're just having a big conversation. So I don't do good with those. But so we were just in a lazy river, just following each other around, just having a big like group chat. And I, would, I didn't say not one thing. I'm just, I'm just hanging around. I wasn't even a third wheel. I was like the sixth wheel. Just talking, and then Sam, this, like friend I met in Florida named Sam's like, yeah, man, we should all get in, like the hot tub and all that. So his sister just gives me that look. That look was like. Oh, I don't even want this guy around here. So I'm like, you know, in my head, I'm like, let me just back away from the group and just stay inside the hotel room for like, for like, two hours. Came back, I thought I redeemed myself, but I didn't. So, yeah, I, uh, freaking, well, that happened, right? No, I didn't get to get any chat things out. I didn't anywhere so the end it was like at night so I'm ask my, I asked my cousin I'm like what you like you should just be like yeah um just be like yeah just be like oh I had a oh, I had a good time hanging around you want to hang out again just say that and then I said that she's like I'm like yeah it's had, it was like a nice time hanging out with you, you want to hang out again and she's gonna say something oh, it was nice hanging with you and he's like oh dang and I'm like yeah I know Notice how she just dodged the question, do you want to hang and all that? I hate when, I hate when girls do that. It's not even, like, suspicious. They just, they just act like you didn't say that, but then you say something else. They blocked. So I'm like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I just ask, what are you doing? And I get blocked. 
And the worst part was that was my last day on vacation. I never got to saw her again. But then I blocked our other friend because she was just, bro, she was just an ugly person, like face ugly and person. That that's 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 my definition of ugly. Like she looked like the little girl I was playing with the fish and taking fire and Nemo, like, and she was like an ugly person. I I would try to talk to her. I was like, her name was like Kaylee, so I was like, in person, I was like, your name's Kaylee, right? She's like, oh yeah, my, yeah, my name's Kaylee, yeah. She just says what an editor, and I'm like, what the heck did I do? And I'm like, why, I'm like, why is she talking to me like that? Like, I, I didn't even do nothing. So yeah, I, I blocked her, I'm like, you're getting blocked, because you're just really rude, and tell your fake friend to like, Tell your fake friend, like, she's just very fake and, like, she just needs to, like, stop acting like that. So, yeah. Then I just left freaking, obviously I left Florida. Now, I still want to this is day. I want to come up to, like, she didn't give me her address. I was like, I was like, where, are you, where are we first? I'm like, where are you from? She's like, oh, I'm from around, I'm not, I'm like from around this area. Not that far from here, like, a couple blocks away. So, yeah, when I come back to that resort, if I see her, I'm just going to slap her so hard. Because that just made me really mad. I told my fake friend, he like, oh, you're just childish. But I don't care, man. She's getting her, she's getting slapped. I think I might end the video here, but life just sucks. I'm just tired of these undeserving pieces of crap just getting all the stuff that you ever wanted. It's always just getting stuff when they want. People like me just gets, just gets zero chance in his life. Don't even have any connection with the outside world. Don't even go outside. Don't even place. Don't even do anything. I get up just to sit back down like two seconds later. I'm just a person behind a, not even a, a, a monitor, a laptop. I'm just a person behind a laptop. Just flapping my gums on why life is just trash. Like... I don't even feel like I've said enough. Like, I feel like I'm forgetting to say some things, but life sucks. Everybody, man, this is like after you die, there's probably, there's a, it's probably just gonna be nothing. That makes it even worse. Like, I can just tell, but yeah. Everybody just sucks. And this video is just useless. It's not even gonna blow up.